rideshare drivers, food delivery drivers. We are not independent contractors. We're also not employees. So what are we? Hey everyone, my name is John from Ride Upstate, and today I want to talk a little bit about how we're classified as employees and how we probably need a new term. And it's going to take a lot to change this, and it's going to have to happen at a federal level. But I just want to introduce a new term to you that I'm going to start using to talk about myself. First, let's talk a little bit about independent contractors. You are not an independent contractor for one particular reason. You are dependent on the technology and the customer base of these other companies. You don't go out and acquire your own customers. You don't go out and develop your own technology. You are dependent on these companies. But at the same time, you're also not an employee. You're work for hire, basically. You're an on-demand employee. And if you don't like that term, you're a just-in-time worker. What do I mean by a just-in-time worker? Well, back in the 90s, Dell and a couple of other companies started looking into just-in-time manufacturing, meaning that they would have things manufactured in just the amount of time that it was needed in order to get it delivered to the customer at a reasonable time and a reasonable rate. And that's what we are as gig workers. We are just-in-time workers. We come along when there is a demand and we deliver food or deliver people or deliver packages in the time that it's needed. And when things slow down, what do we do? We go offline. Now, I don't want to get into the argument of, well, I work for myself, I'm self-employed. This is a really tangled mess. And I know this is probably going to upset a lot of people when they hear me say that we're not independent contractors. Right now, that is the only way I think we should be classified. We don't work 40 hours if we don't want to. We set our own schedules. Now, given there are W-2 earning jobs where you can set your own schedule as well. There are a lot of ways that we are employees and there are a lot of ways that we are independent contractors. We're beholden to the app. We're beholden to certain meeting certain metrics in the app in order to stay employed. But at the same time, we get to work when we want to. We don't have the cost or the time involved in acquiring customers, developing technology, and a number of other things. Now, we do have the cost of operating our vehicles. We take on the operating costs when it comes to on the ground, right, wheels on the ground, but the R&D that goes into it is managed by all these technologies, and they also have some operating costs as well in order to keep these apps up and running and develop these apps. It's a tangled mess. I don't know if you've ever seen pictures online of some networking closets where all the wires are all tangled up and you can't tell where one starts and the other ends. And that's really what this is with all this technology. We're not truly independent of these companies because we depend on them for certain things, but we're also not truly 40-hour employees. Now, it would be great if we could find a way to change the state and federal laws and classify us as a new class of worker, not just independent, not just employee. I think we're limited in when we're speaking about what we do. When we say we're in an independent contractor, someone can look at that and say, well, yeah, you're independent. And then others might look at it and say, no, you're not really independent. So we need a new terminology. We need a new class of employee. Now, I don't have the power nor the clout to get that to happen, but whether it's an on-demand worker or a just-in-time worker, maybe there's another phrase out there. I happen to like the, 
the terminology just in time. On demand makes it seem like the company comes and says, hey, you gotta come work now. That's not really what happens. We're just in time. We, we work when we want to, and we work when there's a need for us to work if we want to. So I would be happy to hear what you have to say about this. Let's keep it civil in the comments. I know that this is, um, this is like a third rail for a lot of people. I just want to have a discussion. And if there's anyone out there who wants to jump on a Zoom meeting sometime and have this discussion, I would love to do that as well. Until next time, my name is John from Ride Upstate, reminding you that just because you're in a small market doesn't mean you need to settle for small profits. Bye.